on New Jersey's Tuckahoe River. What are you doing? Well, no, gotta hone it out. All right. Yank Marine GM Mike Tilsner is in charge of a seven-acre shipyard overrun with boats in need. Here we go. You ready? I'm loaded. Mike, send a string through. Springtime gets crazy. You could haul five boats at a time. You got 60 employees steady going at it. And the pressure will just, it crushes you sometimes. Hey, Mikey. Hey. Good morning. How are we going to get rid of all these boats? Oh, my God. In such a short amount of time we got to do them in. To help him handle the workload, Mike's got a veteran ace in the hole, owner John Yank. All right, let's check with the guys and see if they'll everybody work a couple hours over time, too. Yep. John founded his namesake yard almost 50 years ago. We got, like, nine boats jumping up the... Growing it from a one-ship operation into a multi-million dollar business, servicing everything from commercial fishing and passenger ferries to military vessels and party boats. Like the River Lady. Well, this is our biggest holdup right here, so we gotta get this sucker done. And how the hell are we gonna do that? River Lady was built in 1989. She's a very unique vessel because she's an authentic paddle wheel river boat really neat boat. It's one of the only authentic paddle boats around here. So it's always an honor to work on it. The 85-foot River Lady is a reproduction of a Victorian paddle wheel river boat that seats up to 150 passengers. The Chambeau family provides dinner cruises on the Toms River and the Barnegat Bay in New Jersey. I grew up with these customers that we have, you know, been working with the same people for 17 years. Right now, we're kind of at the 11th hour. We can go out with about a two-foot sea. That's about the maximum this boat can handle. So even if we're done here, we then have to wait for the weather to cooperate for us to get back. They've only got two days left before the River Lady season starts. We already have cruises scheduled on the book. Gonna set this wheel on the boat. They still need to attach her second paddle wheel. It's our last big move before we uh, get in the water. We're going to lift this paddle wheel with the crane and place it back in its position on the boat and then align everything and bolt everything down. But to do that, they've got to hoist this 5,000-pound monster and land it on a dime. Communication's everything. It's all on signal. The wind seemed to pick up a little bit. We mainly got to make sure that we don't hit the boat. Also being right over top of our operator. We got to land it within like an eighth of an inch. It's a little bit closer to gone. The wheel's up, but it's just a hair out of line, and that won't work. See, because this is usually level with this edge. Right now, it's over this edge. Right. So we kind of have to go that All way right. about a half an inch. Lads, we really can't afford to go that way. with this edge. Right now, it's over this edge. I think it's about a half an inch. Man, we really can't afford to go that way. Watch, the bolt's gonna hit. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Yank GM Mike Tilsner has got a wheel that won't align. Right. Only this one's two and a half tons and runs a riverboat. So these bolts were actually in here for the machine work. We actually machined this whole shaft down. I'm here to find out. We just gotta come up tight with both of these shafts. They're pretty much going to touch each other. There's always a little something you got to mess with. It's always pressure. I think we're off center a little bit, though. That could be a little bit of a problem. Let's see. If Mike can't get the $2,700 bearing to fit, this job's a bust. The 
Did that help? Uh, it can come over and then it's got to come down. Down a little bit. Take a look at that, see if you like that. It looks good. All right. It's hard with a boat like this to get everything to be 100% on. All right. Yeah, you go first. Now it's time to build the bearing while balancing 10 feet off the ground. Oh! <laughs> you almost lost a clipper. <laughs> I almost popped that. Oh, clip the job. We dropped that thing to the ground. We'd have never found it. We're using these new bearings is because it's going to be a whole lot quieter inside the boat for dinner cruises. So this is oh, it oh, right oh, here. This is the last final part of this. The last two bolts. Until we find out it doesn't spin. We're going to spin this thing and see what happens. We're going to spin the paddle one revolution. See how it sets in the bearing, see that everything is, is right. Damn by. I'd say we're good. How's it look? Looks good to me, Pops. Looks good. All right. Looks good to me. Yeah.